Hello. Welcome to the TV room. David Bradley here. I have in my hand the circuit board from the 40th pet, which I have just put sockets in to the screen ram right here. And now, this should not take long to put in. I'm just looking at the chips. Indeed, the witness marks are correct. So I will lay this in here, finding, of course, the little legs that do the board. Are we all lined up? I think we are. Okay, so now we have the monitor connector going in. We have the power connector going in, and we have the keyboard connector. Oh, looked like I had it, but I missed. Okay. All right. So we're on. Now, I might have, I gotta watch this iron because it still could be hot. It is possible. But I'm not sure. Hello, Penny. It's possible that maybe I switch these round chips around. It's possible. You know, maybe I don't need that there. Okay, so we're plugged in. We're connected. Let's turn it on and see. I might have to switch these back to get the same sort of error as before. Okay, so, oh yeah, it looks much the same. I can clear the screen and put in print, vote. I'll do this. Vote, semicolon, colon, go to 10, and yeah, weird things are coming up on the screen, and it of course, it shouldn't be any different. Why should it not be any different? Well, because it has the same RAM chips in there. It does. But now they are socketed. So now I have to go on a hunt, find some more, and put them in. I suppose what I could do... Oh, yes, I can. See, this is the same. It's all the same. I'm going to turn this off. This could also help me understand. Maybe if I'm barking down the wrong tree. Or the right tree. I, I'm suspecting by what I saw here. Is I did get the ram chips back into where they came out of. I think. Because it's, it's, it's the same. Now, chips that have been unsawed are a little tougher to work with, because the pins have been worked over, and perhaps not so nice and straight and lovely, but they seem okay. So. We're going to swap these, and I'd like to think I still have a chip or two left over from the VIC-20 that I can try, but I'm not sure if I do. See, the VIC-20, one would think it would have eight RAM chips, it actually has 11, and I think 9 of them were good, but I might have used most of them. Anyway, let's just see. With these switched, are we getting exactly the same thing, or are we getting something different? Well, it's similar, but perhaps a little different. I think the, the stuff at the top...
different. Interesting. So who knows? Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's also what I really need to do is go a hunting for other chips and see what I can see when I put other ones in there that I know are okay. I guess I should do that. And then move on from there. But I know with the with the chips that I rescued from the VIC-20, I rescued a dual drive, a single drive, and I think two pets. Or was it two dual drives, a single drive, and a pet, I think. Anyway, so I know I have chips down there in the pet room that I can get, so I guess I better do that. Anyway, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll see you again soon in the desoldering, soldering TV room, pet room, box room, here, there, and everywhere. Bye for now.